Hello, welcome back to Bob's Little Sports Shop. I'm Jeremiah, and today we're talking about factor five of 12 in Dr. Ashby's 12 factors of penetration. And today's topic is gonna to be shaft diameter. So we have a couple arrows here. Uh, we also have, uh, this is the Grim Reaper Hades Pro uh, broadhead that we're using. It's a fixed blade. And uh, we're gonna be uh, using that just to, as an example for your shaft diameter and how, to, how it uh, relates to your broadhead ferrule and the size of that. We also have uh, an old bare camo 2216 uh, aluminum shaft, a larger diameter shaft, and then we have a gold tip warrior. Uh, this is standard diameter, and then uh, it's a 246 inner diameter, and we have a Easton Axis long range four millimeter. When we're looking at these different shaft diameters uh, what we need to think about the first the primary concern or the primary focus at least as it relates to uh, Dr. Ashby's research is when we install a broadhead onto uh, or into the insert we put a broadhead here in the insert now the collar matches up but the ferrule larger than the shaft it's just a little bit larger than the shaft. Fortunately, because they use this collar, it uh, with the ferrule, it kind of ramps up to that, so it's it wouldn't be as bad in this case. Um, there are some broadheads that, if you're using, uh, there are going to be certain broadheads that have a ferrule that just uh, doesn't have the collar like that, and it's just going to be uh, a straight incline from the ferrule to the shaft. So, uh, particularly like a Magnus Stinger. So, in that case, one thing you want to be aware of now, if the uh, the insert or the shaft is at least five percent larger diameter than the ferrule is, um, say if we took this if we took this collar off, which we wouldn't, but if we did, if we took that collar off and you went straight from the ferrule to the insert here, then uh, that five percent if that is at least 5% larger than the ferrule of the broadhead, then what happens is we have as much of a as much as a 30% decrease in uh, arrow penetration. Now, on the flip side of that, if we go the standard diameter and the ferrule is 5% larger, now we can see up close here that there's there's a, a little bit of a difference where the shaft and the insert are smaller than the ferrule, the broadhead. Now, if that's at least a 5% difference between the ferrule and the shaft or the insert, then we could see as much as uh, a 10% increase in penetration. So going over that again, if it's a 5% larger shaft than the ferrule, we have as much as a 30% decrease in penetration. And if we have a 5% smaller shaft, we could see as much as a 10% uh, increase in penetration. So between the two of those, you're looking at a 40% difference. Now I also have the four millimeter shaft here, and obviously in this case, we're gonna have a significant difference between the four millimeter and the aluminum shaft that we have here. But now the the results did not necessarily show that the smaller and smaller and smaller you kept going and would increase penetration more. Uh, it's just that it becomes less of a concern, the the penetration for the when, when you're talking about the diameter of the shaft in relation to the ferrule, it just becomes less of a concern as you go to a 204, a 166, um, or like I said, this this is uh, four millimeter, but a 166 components. So if you're if you're going smaller and smaller from standard diameter, then uh, it just becomes less and less of a concern whether or not your ferrule is going to be uh, larger, or I'm sorry, smaller <clears throat> than the shaft itself. So uh, just remember that, whatever the case is, like I said, if you just, if you find the right broadhead, if you do like uh, your camo or your aluminum shafts, something with a larger diameter, if you like that stuff, if you like to hunt with that kind of stuff, then uh, just make sure that you got, that the broadhead you have uh, is is using that, some kind of ramp that leads up to 
the shaft and that the, the distance or the difference between the ferrule and the insert there's make sure that that shaft is not larger because that will affect your penetration. Um, otherwise, uh, like I said, when you go smaller diameter, you can use any broadhead. You get a lot more flexibility in which broadheads you can use, and uh, you'll have a lot better success with penetration with a wider variety of broadheads. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, then uh, feel free to subscribe to the page. And uh, feel free also to leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any videos like this or have any suggestions of uh, future videos that you'd like to see. And we'll see you next time.